<laughs> we we the camera's too far i can't reach anyways so today's a bit of a different one as some of you may know i'm coaching for free and one of my students have sent me a game that they played they're 800 rated and i haven't seen 800 rated gameplay in a while since i haven't been 800 in a while too so this is like kind of new new to me like new but old it's just a refresher man the, the gameplay is <laughs> i don't know what to say it's some crazy game i'm, I'm just gonna run for it and see what you guys think because i just think the gameplay is absolute madness this is probably not a good look on my coaching <laughs> whatever man because the game is sent over man also i'm on two hours of sleep if even that so no road to 2000 videos today because i am not playing a rated game i am like all over the fucking place i probably look borderline high as she so we're just gonna hop into this game so the person i'm coaching is the white pieces opponent is obviously the red pieces and so white starts off the game with the queen's pawn opening and so black responds equal to it and then white goes to the queen's gambit black accepts and then we go for this variation which to be honest i'm not familiar with for me i like to take the center up so i would have gone for e4 right away and tried to grab this nevertheless this is also a good move because there's some tricks with the queen that could happen and so black brings the knight out leaving the pawn undefended and white just snatches it up as you do and this is the start of kind of the madness and so okay the queen was attacked white defense and so black develops a knight normal moves castle opponent throws in the pawn into the mixer right into e5 no regard for human life which looks like a fair move at first glance the engine says it's a mistake but there's no exactly immediate threats the best move here is to get the queen here and create a double threat i mean yeah that, that is an immediate threat so the only way to defend is this and then this pawn will fall um attacking this so it's, it's gonna get messy it is gonna get messy probably should have defended one of these threats like maybe slide the rook over or something just so this doesn't happen or if you go to the analysis here the engine here prefers a6 actually i mean if you do this then i guess this also kicks the bishop off the diagonal and protects this pawn here this pawn push here indirectly defends everything anyway so the opponent goes for this and white takes white takes the pawn and immediately it doesn't look like it's bad it does take some calculations to understand why this is bad takes takes and the knight gets in you're forked there's a double attack on this knight here and the problem is this knight is really and truly pinned because before the queen was defending it now it's the rook there's no defense really so this is this is double attacked because if you don't defend this it's going to be takes 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 or takes 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 the knight or the bishop one of them is going to get in and your king's going to be completely exposed so not good and you lose a pawn but what the engine suggests is after this 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 getting forked it wants you to take to uh, give up the rook and then throw in a check so at least white loses the castle and rights but you'll be down a rook for a knight so you'll be down two points uh, you grab a pawn back as well so you'll be down one point so it's not it won't be too bad but you will have to give up a rook so from here what do you think our 800 rated player did do you think they spotted that tactic be honest probably not right but what do you think they did move the knight i don't know develop a piece or even go for a trade maybe well spoiler alert they've blown the right after it <laughs> so now the reason why this is funny is basically white could do exactly the same thing that black could have just done the move before so takes check captures back and then you just lose a piece and in fact there's a double threat here but i guess you could defend this way and then what do you think white did <laughs> <laughs> what do you think white did i mean okay maybe you wouldn't see this tactic fair enough you could probably guess what white did it's guessable because you could tell how this video is going there are suboptimal moves where you don't have to see this tactic right or you could even go for a check try ruin the pawn structure of the opponent and see if you, if you could take the structure down or you could even go for the queen check well my student isn't afraid of anyone takes the knight without hesitation how many seconds did they spend eight seconds hanging the queen directly obviously black sees and white hair has is just gone completely unhinged just gone completely rogue taking everything in its path forking the queen and the rook hair so the queen had to move so here the opponent tries to counter attack because they were like okay so you're attacking my bishop i'm gonna attack your bishop well black missed something in this position where if you check now you're no longer under threat and you have to respond to the check and you're gonna have to move i don't know here if you, if you end up moving here this is going to be another check but the point is you just win a piece well obviously no one saw that so we just take the bishop we go for a trade and then developing attacking the queen all right cool yeah so moves back to grab the knight in the corner of the board my student was like yeah i'm not having that mate i'm gonna go grab this pawn air full q and win your rook what about now protects <laughs> and my student's like you know what i'm not fucking having it mate i'm gonna take that rook and he's like all right then trade it 
then all right so we go for a trade so i mean this knight is completely and utterly positioned awfully but i guess we're gonna go for a promotion so we're pushing pawns there and we lose the other knight so here yeah, black is up two points all right and they're just ready to win just trade off pieces go for pawn promotions and checkmate as you do so the knight comes in and white is just trying to wriggle this way in pushing pieces around throwing in checks hangs a pawn but also grabs another so it's an exchange now but threatening check here right so king moves out the way black sees the threat if white comes in here with a check when the king's there obviously has to move out the way and loses the queen so black responds to that and white does it anyway and black blocks because the, the queen has nowhere to go can't grab because obviously we'll lose a piece so white moves to b8 attacking the pawn well the knight hops to b5 black grabs the spare pawn on e3 with a check king moves and black is just throwing pawns at the white's king trying to go for a promotion basically and in the process freeing the queen all right so here's a check pretty stressful one isn't it luckily this knight is defended sufficiently by the queen and the king and so if i click on the black king here what do you see you see one two three four five six seven squares that the black king can move to two of these squares are bad but one of the two of those squares are fucking awful <laughs> like if you move here it's fine right if you move if you move hmm so what does black do black moves to the worst square possible and loses the queen and yeah i mean that's game really and now black channels the inner grandmaster to find his king move to fork the two pieces you know don't judge me but i don't see king folks even at my level i'm a 1500 rate player and i don't see it <laughs> now i didn't spot this but white has a very clever way of making this exchange if white moves here and black takes there's a full care winning the bishop but nevertheless white counter attacks with the king and obviously the bishop moves and white just keeps chasing it around <laughs> until eventually they're like all right fine take my piece and they take it so now it's, it's not too bad all right white is up one pawn and that's it the same colored bishop and white is just winning by one pawn obviously they're they're gonna get a pass pawn on the side of the board and if they use their king properly they can promote and win the game yeah so white just does what you should do march the pawns and kings forward going to grab this pawn here just completely winning after this basically kicking the bishop around yeah eventually gonna get a pass pawn and black hair just resigns i mean to be honest if you're 800 or anywhere around there a thousand even like at my level or even higher like honestly anything below 2000 i don't think okay 2000 you're probably pushing it but like 1800 1700 there's there's always chances for blunders so like this is an end game between two 800 rate players there's gonna be a blunder if black played on this game would have probably been even crazier okay so that's today's video since i'm super knackered i just want to go for this type of video let me know if you enjoyed it or if you would like to see more of this type of commentating videos